it's the update PS5 players have been waiting for. You can now upgrade the PlayStation 5's SSD internal storage. Hooray! With the PS5 only coming with 667.2 gigabytes of usable space out of the box and games like Cyberpunk 2077 toasting around 70 gigabytes, whilst Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is a whopping 225 gigabytes, you don't have to be a mathematician to work out that you'll soon be at capacity if you're an avid gamer. Now, it's worth noting that games specifically built for the PlayStation 5 can currently only be played on the console's high-speed internal storage. You can store PS5 games on an external drive, but when you want to play them, you'll need to transfer them back to your console, which is why the option to add an M.2 is such a game-changer. We have made a video about how to use external storage with your PS5, which we've linked below, so be sure to check that out, as it's a great option for storing any of your PS4 games or those that you play less frequently. Now, the option to expand your PS5's internal storage with an M.2 drive is currently available right now, but only to those on the beta testing program. There are plans for it to be fully available very soon via an upcoming system software update. So if you do want to add an M.2 before that's available, then make sure you You've applied for the beta program. So back to the task in hand and in this video you've guessed it we're going to show you how to expand your internal storage by installing a top of the range M.2 SSD from Samsung. Now the first thing to note is that it's important that you only use a supported M.2 SSD like this. We've got the Samsung 980 Pro PCIe Gen 4 NVMe. Samsung has announced that the 980 Pro is ready to be used in the PS5 along with a handful of other brands. But it's important to say here that you should only buy an SSD that's listed as compatible. Even if an SSD hits the technical specs on paper, it may still not be compatible when you try to use it. You can find the requirements for SSDs on the PlayStation website, which we'll link to in the description to make life easier for you. But the main things to note are your drive needs to be a PCIe Gen 4 x 4 M.2 NVMe SSD, and the capacity should be between 250 gigabytes and 4 terabytes. It must also support a minimum sequential read speed of 5,500 megabytes per second, and the module width needs to be 22 millimeters. This Samsung 980 Pro hits a peak speed of 7,000 megabytes per second, so it's well over those minimum requirements. And as it's Samsung, you know it's a quality drive that will deliver on its spec sheet performance. Another requirement of using an M.2 SSD with your PS5 console is a heat sink. Now, this is something that Samsung don't offer on the current range of the 980 Pro, but the good news is that you can easily purchase one to add on. I'm using this one from Acasa today, however, it's important that whatever you buy, you make sure that it will fit inside the PS5 and that it will provide adequate cooling for your SSD. Be sure to check out reviews before you purchase. For full size and form factor info, check out the spec page, which we've linked in the description for you. So the first thing that you do is grab your PS5 and pop it down. I find it easier to do it this way. You'll note here that I've got a mouse mat, so I would recommend having a mouse mat or something else soft. Then what you need to do, and there's a bit of a knack to this, is give it a little push and lift off. First time you do it, it might feel a little bit tricky, but once it's off, it's a little bit like a TV remote when you get the back off that one. And then if I lift it up, you'll see inside here, this is where we're going to pop our M.2. There's only one screw that secures this cover, so you get your number one Phillips or crosshead screwdriver to get that out. And that will lift off like so. So as you can see in there, we've got a little screw with a space. So we're going to move that shortly to secure the M.2 SSD. But I'll pop it down and grab the 980 Pro that we're going to pop in in a minute. I'm just going to slide it in just to make sure that it is the correct size. You can see that it is. And that's the hole that we're going to move the screw and the spacer to just shortly. But first, I need to add on that heat sink. So I'll pop it back in. There's really only one way that you can pop it in anyway. You'll feel it click in push it like that. If you don't feel it click in, just make sure that all of the connectors are in properly. So I've got the screw and the spacer. Yeah, so you pop the spacer in, pop that down, grab my screw, give it a little twist so it's nice and secure like that. Grab my cover, pop it back on. Need to get the other screw and give it a little twist 
so screw it in until it's secure and there you go it's all done all you need to do then is pop the back back on which is a lot easier than getting it off click it into place like that there you go stand it back up and all we need to do now is power it on you'll then need to format your drive once installed and you do this by going into your ps5 menu screen go to settings and storage and you'll see it then it'll show you how much free space you've got but it is worth noting here that once the official software is available if you've been using the beta version then you'll need to remove your ssd then do the system update and then reinstall it. and if you don't the system software might not work correctly so there you go, a simple guide to installing an M.2 SSD into your PS5. We've linked to PlayStation's guidance below on compatible drives and information about beta and software updates. And we'll also add a link to the full range of Samsung's M.2 drives, like the 2TB 980 Pro that we installed today. All available now at scan.co.uk.